Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. On January 24, 2017, EcoJustice issued a blog post by Charles Hatt, a lawyer, entitled, President Trump isn't the only one ignoring climate science. Mr. Hatt's blog goes on to say something about the Competition Bureau inquiry that they had launched against us last year. Now, the Competition Bureau is a very important, very powerful, independent law enforcement agency. According to their website and how the Bureau deals with complaints, the Bureau conducts its investigations in private and keeps confidential the identity of the source and the information provided. Which begs the question why a group of lawyers at EcoJustice keep publicizing information about their complaint against Friends of Science Society. Have they no respect for due process of law? Or are they simply using this on a public platform to denigrate our group? We do respect the law, but sadly, we are forced to defend ourselves in public due to EcoJustice ongoing public attacks on us. EcoJustice is a tax-subsidized charity in Canada. We are taxpayers. Is it fair and right that this partially offshore-funded charity can blatantly make false and misleading statements about Friends of Science Society while a uh, normally confidential legal process of investigation is in place? I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. Join us, donate, share our stuff, join the conversation, and let's keep it civil. Thank you.